Today on Outside the Box Reviews, we're taking a look at the NECA Terminator 2 Series 5 Steel Mill T-1000. And in between the two kind of standard cop uniform T-1000s that I reviewed just recently, and this guy, there was the full-on motorcycle cop version with the helmet and the jacket. And this one is, as the name implies, from the steel mill where he kind of has the jacket gone, but he still has the motorcycle cop pants and boots. So a nice new combination of figure parts here and some interesting accessories. So let's jump right in and look at the figure. This figure, once again, comes with a pretty standard Robert Patrick head it appears to be the same sculpt we've gotten before i think this one is a little better painted the flesh tone is a little more realistic on it but i like both versions of the head they both work and they both look like the actor to me some great detailing on the hair different browns in there with the black still that ugly seam going through the head which i don't like at all but then this head can be removed and replaced with the donut head so this is where he gets blasted in the face he's got the big liquid metal hole going through the whole side of his head's kind of blown out from the pressure i think this is a very nice head sculpt very kind of gruesome without actually being gruesome there's some great kind of bending effects where it looks Looks like the head's kind of peeling away to reveal the hole. All kinds of nice wrinkles around it. And the paint job around it's very nice too. It really brings out everything that's going on in the sculpt. For the upper torso, we get the same upper torso we've gotten with all the other cop uniform versions of this figure. So he's got his pockets, he's got his name badge, his actual badge, little pen in the thing there. You can see the white undershirt poking out, standard sleeves. For the hands, we get two again. We have a left hand trigger finger and a right hand relaxed but both of these can be replaced and we get two more of the long pointy fingers this one here on the right side is what i'd call a middle length we basically had the original version you can see this is a fresh sculpt because the other one was an open hand this one's a closed fist and a slightly longer extension on the finger going on there and on his other side, we have this ridiculous monstrosity. The plastic is so soft that it's really hard to even keep it straight. It probably needs some hot water to try to readjust it, but it just doesn't feel like it's going to maintain any shape because it's so bendy. But a very, very long extended finger here on the left side. So this you can kind of try to recreate the call to John thing where he's got Sarah Connor pinned up and he's trying to, you know, intimidate her with the, the long spiky fingers. It's cool, but this was always my least favorite accessory that NECA's put with any of these. The long fingers and the ridiculous length on both of these just kind of seems dumb to me. I'm not a huge fan of it, and I probably rarely will ever display it with this super long one, if anything. We no longer have his utility belt, just the normal cop belt we could see there with his pants, but he does have these striped pants and motorcycle pants, so a slightly different lower torso. Then we've got his boots here. The one black boot with just a little bit of diamond tread coming up on it and the other foot is full on diamond tread. You can see it kind of smushing there at the bottom as it's melding into the floor. This was something seen only in the special edition of the movie, but it's something I really like. I wish, overall, I prefer the theatrical cut of the film. It's much more efficient and moves at a better pace to me, but I wish this scene could magically be in the theatrical cut because it really helps the ending of the film make sense. I'm very glad that NECA gave a nod to that piece there. For articulation, standard you'd expect, ball joint at the base of the neck, pin socket shoulders, forward back out to the side, bend and swivel at the elbow, ball joint at the wrist, swivel at the waist, and then joints that I absolutely love with these motorcycle cop boots. The joint is below the knee, but he does have a knee joint as well as a swivel. Just a very kind of subtle way to get that leg articulation in there without making it glaringly obvious and making him not look like the other figures in the line. I really do appreciate that bit of ingenuity. So overall, I think this is one of the weaker T-1000s we've gotten in the line. I like the donut head sculpts, but the accessories don't do quite as much for me as some of the other figures have. But it is a unique one. He mixes and matches some parts from previous figures in a unique way and the boots are a fresh sculpt i honestly thought they would give us just the clean ones the slightly metal ones from the motorcycle cop but these are completely freshly done which i have to really appreciate that nega took the time to do 
But like I said, it's another one of those figures that just doesn't thrill me as much as I would really hope it would. If I'm going to grab a T-1000 figure off the shelf as an example of the T-1000, this isn't the one I'd gravitate towards. This is kind of just like, oh yeah, that's kind of interesting. It's kind of funny that that exists. I'm still going to give it a recommendation because just like the liquid metal T-1000, there's nothing bad about this figure really the worst thing about it is the droopy metal finger and that's not an accessory i really plan to display him with all that often anyway and everything else on him is solid so no reason to not recommend him he's just not a strong entry in the line and that's it i am caught up on all of the NECA terminator figures i own they've all been reviewed by now some are much older reviews so you'd have to go back into the archives of my channel to find them but they're there. There are a couple figures that I've mentioned through these that I am still missing. And chronologically, I guess I would be leaving it out if I didn't say that I did not pick up the next T-1000 after this. The other version they did was the liquid nitrogen version. And he was basically just the motorcycle cop painted blue and white and had little like flecks of sprinkles all over him that I heard fell off as you mess with the figure. So honestly, I just never really felt strongly about picking that one up. Maybe eventually I'll try to hunt it down on eBay or something, but it was just never one that really called to me, really appealed to me. So that's where the Terminator line stops with me. I do hope eventually NECA will pick this up again, do a couple more figures. I would love to get a Sarah Connor. I think she's probably somewhat marketable. I really just don't know if a John Connor would ever happen. It's happened has to be all fresh tooling for everything on him because how often do you make a 10 year old boy sculpt for action figure especially at NECA so I can understand that that one would be harder to get but a Sarah Connor would be fantastic McFarlane gave us one that goes for crazy bucks online so I'd like to get one to actually put in my collection or several if they did different versions of her especially from T2. Make sure you check me out on Instagram, username Outside the Box Reviews. Also check me out on Facebook, link below. And until next time, this has been our Outside the Box Reviews. I'll be back. Was the Frozen version, and I decided to let that one go. Ugh.